In this portion of the video, I'll be showing you how to install your SATA hard drive. First, make sure that your hard drive is no thicker than 9.5 millimeters. Otherwise, it's not going to fit into the slim casing of the lockdown. Locate the two screws on the rear of the casing and remove them. In this case, I already have them removed. Then find the small groove on the top of the casing and use your finger to push against it and remove the aluminum back. Then take your hard drive and align it with the slot. Push in until it is firm and flush against the casing. Then take the aluminum casing and you'll notice that there's two latches. These two latches fit into two holes on the plastic piece. Fit those in, then snap it together and reinstall the two screws. Connect your lockdown with a USB 3.0 cable. The Satechi logo will come up indicating that it will initialize. Give it a few moments and it will ask you if you want to enter a password. Choose 0 for no, choose 1 for yes. Enter your password, then press enter. Enter it again to verify, then press enter. Be sure to write this number down and store it in a safe place. Then you'll notice on your Windows screen, it'll install the drivers automatically. Click Start, then type in Disk Management. Select Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Then give it a few moments for it to recognize your new hard drive. In the list below, Find your new hard drive, then right click and select New Simple Volume. Click Next, click Next again, Next again. Make sure you're in NTFS mode, Default, and Quick Format is selected. Then click Next, then click Finish. Give it a few moments, and after it's done formatting, your new drive should be listed as new volume and your hard disk is now ready to be used. 